Welcome back to another break on Blaze Tech. My guests are first year students of the Academic City University College. And the first item that we're going to look at is the automated electronic box. I have here with me Mawena and Levi from the Academic City University College. Mawena, how are you? Welcome to Blaze Tech. Levi, how are you doing? Good. I see you guys are doing something really amazing. Can you tell me what I'm looking at right now? Okay, so this is um, a prototype of, a, of an automated toolbox. Okay. So at the moment, it's equipped with Bluetooth functionality. Bluetooth? In the, yeah. Wow. But in the long term, we want to add a GPS functionality and some IR sensors to enable it to move autonomously. Okay. So this is what we currently have as our first prototype. Mm. And I would like to demonstrate it. Okay. Yeah, but before we go to the demonstration, I would like to... What, what went into the process and the idea of creating something like this? Well, okay. in the workshop, right, there are a lot of um, facilities mm. and it's stressful to move about from one place to another to pick these two mm. different tools. So we came up with a system that will enable the transport of tools to be easy. Mm. So rather than moving from one place to the other, like, mm. we have something that can do that for us like, automatically. Okay. So I see some wood and some cables and some tires and all of that. Mm. Did you source all these things locally here? Or yes, what? everything. So where did you get most of the raw materials from? Well, um, we got this from, I think, a mall okay. a shop, yes. All right. And we broke the bearings and 3D printed a certain part mm. to lock the tires in place. Okay. The wood was from around scrap okay. wood. Okay. And the Arduino, we bought it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can I open it? Yes, you can. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So this is what it looks like. I see some battery and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm sure we'll, we'll do a demonstration quickly. Yeah. So, these, these items, what, what, what's the function of this and then these other cables for those who, who have no idea what it is? Okay, so this is the battery. Mm. This is a motor um, driver. Driver. Mm. driver. And then this is the Arduino board. Okay. So the okay. Arduino board is like the main brain behind everything. Mm. So there's you the code, is. The code here. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. You, you have to do some coding as well. So yes. it, doesn't, it doesn't work on its own. Yes. It goes through a process. So when you code here, then you upload it to the main brain. Mm. This is a motor driver. Mm. So that's what controls the motors of this. Okay. It's connected to this. So it mm. takes instructions from it. Mm. Yes. This is a step down. The back of it. And then it steps down the voltage. Mm. Because this is 12. Boots. Okay. And then the Arduino takes like five volts, mm -hmm. so it has to step it down to five. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this is the Bluetooth module, yeah. as you can see, it's blinking. I'm quite interested in that, the Bluetooth. So how do you, you connect it to your phone? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you can move it around. And yes. I'm sure we'll do a demonstration quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but I understand you've been working on this from April till this point. What do you seek to achieve with this and how many more do you want to create of these very innovative things that you guys are working on? Okay, um, as you said, the aim was to uh, um, make it first Bluetooth mm. and then add a GPS system where, um, let's say for instance, you're standing at that side, I'll just enter the GPS coordinates on my phone. Mm. Then I don't need to control it again. It moves to on your okay. side, yes. And then we want to make it a little bit bigger mm. so that it can house more okay. tools. Yeah. So I understand you're a team of, um, not, it's not just the two of you, it's other colleagues as well. Yeah. So what, what was the process working on this? I, I know you had maybe some sleepless nights and all that. What were some of the challenges that you faced working on this, this, okay. this box? Um, the four of us are level 100 students. Okay. Yes. What, three, what courses are you guys okay. offering? Three, three of them are offering computer engineering. Okay. And I'm offering robotics engineering. Okay. Yes. All and right. then... We kind of like split the work mm. into parts. So Mawena here worked on the um, SolidWorks uh, modeling, and he also worked on the hardware. Mm. And I also worked with the on the codes and then the um, hardware. Mm. Yes. And then okay. Fifi worked on the electronics. All right. Yes. So that's how we split it amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah. It's. I think it's really amazing what you guys are doing, especially you are adding computer science technology to build this. Yeah. So now we've been talking for, for quite some time. I want to see how the, the whole thing works. So take it away, guys. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have a demonstration of how the yeah. automated toolbox is going to work. And they are going to do this with their phone. Yeah, right? So it's connected to the, U, the Bluetooth. Yes. So you connect, you, you control everything from here. Yes. All right. So let me have a look. Wow. Can you bring it back to my OK. 
I see you have some buttons you're about to push yeah. on the phone. Is that, is that a mobile app or something? Yes, it's a mobile app. Okay. We downloaded it off the Play Store, but then we used our own code to program the... To connect it. Yes, okay. to connect it. All right. So let me have a look at how the, how the toolbox works. Okay. Yeah. So first, I'll send it forward to Levi. So. Okay. Wow. And I'll make it turn and come towards you. Okay. Wow. So you're driving the whole thing yourself? Yes. And all this is done on the Bluetooth yes. and the app that you augmented from from the Play Store and then you, you, you augment it to the box. Yeah. Okay, wow. So how fast can this go? Or is it just a short period of time? Uh, yeah, for now, the motors aren't that strong, so it okay. can't really move too fast All at right. the moment. And this is just a prototype, so we hope to improve it and make it faster and, and stronger. Mm. All right, so I see the wood and all of that. Are you going to add some added um, equipment and layers to it to make it more of a refined electronic toolbox. Yeah. A yeah. final model, would, um, it's be more ideal if it's um, it's made of metal because metal, a thin metal that is light enough, but would be able to carry enough weight. So that's what we are looking at in the long run. Okay. Yeah. So Marina, you are you are a computer science student, right? Computer engineering. Computer engineering, and then Levi is also robotics. Robotics engineering. Yeah. What, what do you guys seek to achieve with, with, with everything that you are doing and, and what's, what's the future like looking for you guys? Um, well, we just want to um, encourage technology in, mm. African, in African schools that anyone can do it. It doesn't matter whether you're in Africa or you're outside. You just need to be committed and then you get there eventually. Uh, all right. Thank you guys so much and I, I appreciate what you guys are doing. I hope you guys go very far. Thank so you. thank you, Mawena, and also thank, thank you. you. Levi, I've been speaking with Marina and Levi, and they are level 100 students of the Academic City University, and they've been showing me one of their prototypes, which is the electronic toolbox. It runs on a Bluetooth, it has its own battery packs, and all that. Given my guess, I'll be moving on to my next group of students. They have the electronic dog kennel, so we'll look at them and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back from the break on BizTech. I'm moving on to my next set of students here at the Academic City College. And they're going to be showing me what they say. It's an automated dog kennel. I have here with me Jefferson, one of the guys working on the project. Jefferson, welcome yeah. to BizTech. How are you? I'm fine. Yes, great. So I understand you're working on an automated dog kennel. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> what exactly am I looking at? OK, so this is just basically a system mm. that I thought, of course, you know, I had have dogs at home okay and then there are lots and then we don't want to be feeding them every day mm. so the idea is to create like a storage right on top here for this prototype right mm. a storage at the top for food water right so that it's automated such that every day the system just runs without you going to refill it every time we'll give the dogs food morning afternoon evening wow. so we have for example um the, for this prototype, there's a water reservoir okay. connected to a water valve, connected to a pipe down there with mm -hmm. the water sensor. Okay. Yeah. Which is here, right? Yeah. So the things are not put together now because mm -hmm. you dismantle them. So mm -hmm. this water sensor is in sort of um, a container, right? Mm -hmm. If it senses water, the water doesn't come in. But if the water is done, the valve opens and then the water flows in. Mm -hmm. So things like that. For the food, I plan on using a server motor or other way. So the food is the same idea. Mm -hmm. A valve or something opens, the food flows to and it refills for the dog. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. You mentioned something very important, which was motion sensing. So everything that's going to work for the dogs has to go through some kind of motion. Um, did you have to develop it through, because I see a laptop there and all yeah. of that. You yes, had to build so, a system? Yeah, so we have to build a system and then this involved some programming here, of course. Okay. So we used Arduino for this prototype. Arduino? Arduino, yeah. Okay. Arduino. So right. there are some of the codes in there which relates there which sends the um, command to the server, mm. to the valve, sorry, mm. and then to the sensor. So okay. the valve opens, depending on what the sensor senses. Mm. So yes. Okay. So what went into the idea of developing this for the first time? Like you said, you're a dog lover. You have a lot of dogs yes. in the house and all of that. But I said, I also see some metals and all of that. Where did yes. you source some of the materials from? Okay. So the school actually supported us in some of these things. And mm. then I was quite smart about this because, you know, we had um, a course this semester, right, which involved metal work. Mm. So I, just, I decided to speak to a lecturer. Okay. The lecturer was 
we like the idea and decided to do this for the mental work part. They will add assistance with the school's help. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I see how how big is this this thing right now? I think we we, we can move around yeah. and have a look at it. How how big is this whole thing right now? This is like a, it has like a thirty inches height okay. by um, a sixty um, a breadth okay. with a forty-five length. I mm. think yeah. Right. So this That's one doesn't move. But this is just a foot stuff. Yeah, it's on wheels. So okay. we made it such a way that it can be moved easily because of the weight. Okay. Yeah, so it's on the wheels. Right. It can move easily. So is it just only for dogs or other kinds of animals? Because okay. I know some people like to rear yeah, fowls and all of that. Yeah. So we can incorporate, incorporate this system to poultry, mm. large scale poultry, in the sense that, for example, in a poultry farm like this, we can build a system that's automated for their water mm. and probably for their feed. So it can be used for breeding animals in general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you are a first year student yes, of, of the school. Yes, please. Uh, I'm sure some of your other colleagues. What are you studying in I'm school? I'm, I'm offering mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. Yes. And so I'm sure other, other, your colleagues are also studying computer science engineering as well. Yes. Some. Well, he is. I think he's doing electronics. Okay. He is doing electronics. He's doing mechanical with me. He's also doing mechanical. So, so we sort it's of an learn. Fusion of engineering. Yes, yes. Together. And we learn. We, we learn some of these things on the web. So, okay. Yeah. So where do you want to take this to? Because I think it's quite innovative for yes. those who own pets and, yes, and other yes. animals. So actually, I plan on getting probably in this um, break. Mm. You go to probably a poultry farm and probably incorporate it into this. If it works, I think it would be a very good idea for the for people involved in agriculture. And, and things like that because it's really it saves time it's efficient and your poetry will or your poetry farm will run very well with this type of system okay yeah. so how long how durable and secure are these systems for those who are out there and they are watching this and they want to well do i want to move my dogs into this automated system and all of that what's um, the assurance for them well compared to the old systems you have the traditional system mm. this actually quite doable and very, it's, a, it's an improvement to the old system. So I think it's very safe. And then when you are done with the actual system mm -hmm. and everything, some of the wiring you might, okay, some issues might be the wiring. Mm -hmm. The wiring, I want to make sure it's um, insulated, mm -hmm. right? And away from the dogs. Okay. And then yes, everything is going to be such that it's, it's perfect safe. Yes, and safe. Finally, where do you want to see this? And what, what are the prospects of this automated dog kennel, animal kennel? Okay, so. Actually, the plan is to get investments because mm. some of the things we are using at the idea, you know, sometimes the connections break off and it's not strong enough. Mm. And then, so the aim is to get investors to really invest in this so that we take this as fast as possible and start making profits. All right. Yeah. So, just quickly, finally, before we go, can you just show me what a okay. gentleman is doing here? I so, know he's working on something okay. here. He's trying to work on the uh, water sensing part of this. So, this is the the containers I said, this is the valve, mm. these are the connections, okay. they really, the Arduino, and then it runs to the water sensor right here. Okay. Okay. All so right. then there's a container in there, there's a pipe there connecting everything. Mm. So it's trying to get the connections right so that when you pour water in here, mm. and then it senses no water on this water sensor, mm. right, it will, the valve here opens. Mm. Yes, and then the water just flows. After a time, some specific time, then it closes back mm. when you your Containers being refilled. So you can do feed the dogs just yeah, by yeah. For even the top of a button. But yeah, yeah. And then when it even comes to rain, probably puppies, it's much simpler because it's like milk and water. Right. So that one is for those who rear puppies and sell. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a nice. nice system for them. Thank you so much. And uh, I like what you guys are doing. And I hope you guys keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sue. Yeah, there you have it. I've been speaking with uh, some students of the Academic City University, Jefferson and his colleagues as well. They've been working on an electronic dog kennel. I initially spoke to Marina and Levi, who are working on an automated toolbox. They've been my guests on this week's edition of This Tech. Many thanks for watching. My name is Marley Ahalimekas.